What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this is a continuation of the authentication series. Uh, in this video, in our last video we talked about uh, authentication using the Google provider, right? So in this video let's talk about using Facebook for authentication uh, inside your Flutter applications. So how are we going to do that? Uh, let's see how to do that. Facebook first of all, okay this is the Facebook developer portal, click on my apps. I mean, you need to like log in into Facebook uh, developer portal and then click on my apps. I already have one for our practice, but uh, I'll, I'll create a new one so that uh, you guys could also, you know, stay uh, along with me. So I'll just create a new one. Click on setup. And then uh, click on Android it has some quick start steps right quick start steps just click on next and then in this also you can simply go ahead and click on next here it has two details right get into your project get into android uh, app source android manifest.xml take this entire thing copy this and then paste it here similarly paste it here and then type main activity simply save it will show up something saying that uh, this is not on google play but that's not uh, much of an issue since you are just using a development application right then click on continue uh, it will give this uh, command just copy this entire thing uh, paste it in your right yeah paste it here I'm paste it in a terminal that's what that's what i'm saying uh, i will just clear this paste it in a terminal hit enter it will give you a key store just copy that copy this and then just paste it here key hash paste it here click save then give continue this is not needed next Ah, this is the important thing you need to paste a lot of stuff inside your android application so let's go ahead and do that uh, not android flutter application so let's go ahead and do that uh, in this this is the manifest.xml right so let's start with this in manifest.xml you would need to after this activity i'll paste that okay and then uh, okay uh, all this is done now uh, here I am using at string Facebook app ID right but if you notice inside res values I don't have a strings.xml right so this will throw up an error we need to uh, fix that just save this manifest for now you just save this and then create a new file strings.xml and inside strings.xml uh, simply add the following things. Cool, right this is inside this strings.xml i just copied from here guys the facebook app id and the protocol scheme both they copied from here and app name is the app our app that we gave here flutter auth this is the app name uh this is done just close strings.xml android manifest is done as well just close this as well and uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, get into pubspec.yaml file and then add one more dependency okay this will be a Facebook sorry flutter Facebook login okay let this get the package for us get back into login page dot dot and then uh, copy this button again paste it here oh okay this is done now simply import the Facebook provider Facebook flutter sorry flutter face why is this not my intelligence is not working see it's showing me it won't watch for file changes right that's why even when even though we installed the plugin it didn't the intelligence didn't trigger 
anyway i just restarted the code editor so no issues as of now uh, facebook sign in uh, facebook login uh, fb login equals new face face um, book login okay we have a new object created and uh, we can simply make use of this to login i already copied and pasted one button here right login with facebook login with facebook okay this will give us a new button and here we can simply remove this entire thing and instead we will write code for uh, authentication with facebook so fb login as usual fb login dot uh, uh, login with read permissions permissions i will simply permissions is an array guys so i will simply do email and also i will get the public profile as well public uh, underscore profile i think for permission public underscore profile yeah fine and uh, then result as usual dot catch error e print this error fine uh, with this particular result we need to uh, we need to use this result in our uh, firebase authentication system so that the user can log in into our application right so uh, we will simply use a switch case switch result dot status okay and uh, case facebook login status dot not cancel the facebook login status dot uh, logged in Uh, in this scenario, we should simply fire Firebase auth dot uh, instance uh, dot sign in with Facebook. Sign in with Facebook, and uh, inside this, I can simply give access token result dot access token dot token. Okay, uh, fine. Once the user signs in, we need to signed sorry signed in user right fine signed in user uh, with this user we can simply do a print as usual signed in as print is not even needed i am simply closing this editor and then showing it to you on a mobile device so anyway uh, we'll do that navigator dot sorry navigator dot of context dot push replacement named uh, home page fine right you understood what was happening here right we installed the plugin we did some configurations we'll go ahead and uh, enable facebook here as well simply tap on enable and you need to handle this guys just copy this or three directive url uh, get into settings sorry dashboard you need to get into the settings now here there is a valid or three directive url right just paste this okay auth handler and uh, you need to get the app id click and then paste it here and app secret also you need to get app secret you can get from your uh, settings basic save this basic here there is the app secret right click on show okay just copy this and then paste it here and click on save Right, Facebook is now enabled. Uh, now I have removed the Google user since uh, it will show the email issue since I was using the same email for Facebook and Google. Anyway, you might not have that problem. Uh, now that 
the system simply let's run our application we have configured facebook uh, we have enabled it here as well in sign in method as well we have done the configurations here as well let's go ahead and uh, try running this app and see what happens all right uh, now that we have another button here let's try tapping on this particular login with facebook button wow we get a nice overlay asking if you, if i want to continue with my particular fb profile i'll just continue as raja wow the dashboard opens up which means that the authentication was successful right you uh, get it right so now if you just go to users you should be able to see the uh, facebook user here as well provide us facebook the one that we just used to sign in so this user got added to our uh, system as well so this is how you bring in facebook authentication for your flutter application guys uh, this is interesting uh, right uh, since most of the people usually have a facebook account and then they would feel convenient if you provided this feature along with your uh, application as an easy way for the users to uh, sign in, in inside the inside your application so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, hit the like button if you really like this video hit thumbs up uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more cool stuff like this and uh, yeah uh, thanks guys the, my next video will be on uh, twitter authentication okay social authentication twitter provider so yeah stay tuned uh, thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye